Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The royal court has announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will leave tomorrow for Saudi Arabia, where he will chair the 17th Advisory Summit of the Gulf Cooperation Council leaders. The court added that His Majesty the King will also head Bahrain's delegation to the GCC U.S. Summit and to the Arab Islamic U.S. Summit in response to an invitation from his brother, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the Gulf Sports Expo held at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Conference Center. The event, organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with Hano Consulting Company, was also attended by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Hisham al Jodar. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is a pioneer in embracing and hosting various sports events and activities that would stimulate the tourism sector. He added that such events are in line with the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in turning Bahrain into a global exhibition center in various sectors. He also expressed his aspirations that the Expo would achieve the goals it was established for in introducing the youth and sports sector officials in the Gulf and the region to the most leading companies of modern sports equipment. His Highness Sheikh Nasser toured the exhibition and was given a briefing on the sports equipment displayed and their importance in the world of sports. His Highness received a book entitled The King of Youth and Sports that includes an illustrated history of the founder of modern Bahrain sport, His Majesty the King.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met in the presence of the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bukova, currently visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised Bukova's continuous efforts since taking office and her drive to improve the work of UNESCO and enhance its role in preserving heritage, culture, and supporting efforts to promote education around the world. He also expressed Bahrain's appreciation for the existing cooperation with UNESCO in many heritage educational and cultural projects, wishing her luck and success. The Director General of UNESCO thanked the Minister and expressed her deep appreciation for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its long-standing rich and diverse heritage. She also paid tribute to the Kingdom for its distinguished position in educational and cultural fields, wishing Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The Vice Chairman of the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the Russia Islamic World Strategic Vision Group which concluded at the Presidential Palace of the Chechen Republic in the city of Grozny. The meeting was held under the chairmanship of the President of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, and the President of Tatarstan and Group Leader Rustum Minkhanov, and in the presence of the Deputy Foreign Minister and Russia's Presidential Envoy for the Middle East and North Africa, Mikhail Bogdanov. Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain and His Majesty's wishes for the success of the meeting. Sheikh Abdurrahman Al Khalifa expressed thanks to the Chechen and Tatar presidents for inviting the kingdom to take part in the meeting. He affirmed that the prospects for cooperation between the Russian Federation and the Islamic world at all levels, particularly at the economic level, are welcome. He highlighted the importance bolstering relations between Russia and the Islamic world and the need to build a solid base of constructive and promising partnerships on the issues of common concern. He added that the Kingdom is proud of the current bilateral relations, which are the result of the wise vision of the two friendly countries' governments and their sincere desire to develop relations at all levels. He expressed his desire for the meeting to result in successful resolutions and recommendations that will contribute to achieving world peace. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the important positive results of the visit paid by Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to the United States and his meeting with US President Donald Trump. It affirms that the visit pours into the efforts aimed to consolidate the growing GCC-US relations, which are well-founded and based on firm mutual respect and trust, as well as on shared interests to advance them towards broader horizons at all levels. The Kingdom of Bahrain affirms that the outcome of the visit reflects the distinguished position of the brotherly United Arab Emirates at the international level and shows its active role towards regional and international issues in addition to being reflective of UAE diligent efforts to promote peace and stability and expand its strategic relations with major powers for the benefit of the countries and people of the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain also hails the policy of the United States and its keenness to interact with the GCC countries and expand the frameworks of joint cooperation as an essential strategic ally in all endeavors seeking security and stability in the region and across the world.